Okay, so if you come on over here, I've got a minute uh, hard drive, which is, uh, this has the software for running the genome analysis, making the base calls, uh, the sequencing base calls on it. It has everything on it that I'm gonna ask access uh, by my phone uh, in just a minute here. Here's the genome sequencer. So you can see my hand here. It's a very small uh, device here. And uh, what you do is you, you can load two different types of flow cells in there. Uh, the standard flow cell is $900. And this is what the standard flow cells look like. Uh, they uh, look just like this, and you open them up, and it's got a big bubble in there. This one's no longer any good. Uh, and you load your sample into a little pore inside of that. These generate, uh, in my experience, uh, about 500 times more data uh, than this one here, the, what's called the Flongo flow cell. But this will snap right into uh, this device. Uh, to run it there. Uh, so that's a standard flow cell. Tons more data, uh, but $900 versus this one here, which is called the Flongo flow cell. Uh, so here it is, you open it up. These are $90. Uh, you get a lot less data, uh, but for the price, you still get some data, and that's what we're after here. The way it works is you slide it in this direction with the code. AEQ673, they all have their own barcode, a different number, but you slide it in under here, push down and it snaps in like that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do next here is we're gonna run a flow cell check on this flongle uh, flow cell is what this thing's called uh, before we load it. We need to make sure that that flow cell uh, is good to go. That's this flongle flow cell. And so you should be able to see my screen now. Uh, what I've got is you want to go to settings is the first thing you want to do. And then you go to your Wi-Fi. Uh, my Wi-Fi has already picked up the Minute device. The Minute device is right there. It says Wi-Fi MT. They're all MT dash some number. So ours is 111.289. After you select that, which is already selected, and you put in your password, uh, then you're ready to go to the next step. So we've selected the Wi-Fi, the device. Now I'm gonna click on Safari. And I'm gonna to go to the top of the screen and type in 10.42.0.1. Uh, that uh, is our uh, minnow uh, device there. So once you uh, click on that, 10.42.0.1, it's going to open that up, uh, the software which is going to run the sequencing uh, device. I want to select the flow type first. So flow type, I'm going to click on that, flow cell type. This is a flongle flow cell. I click on that. And then I'm going to go down lower here. Now I'm going to rotate my screen. And click on... Oops, let me go back. Uh, Flongo, oh yeah, here we go. You have to turn it green, so maybe you just saw it turn green. I clicked on MN34896. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it again. Check flow cells, and it's asking me for my name uh, of the flow cell. And it's A, E, Q, no space, 673. And I'm going to say, start the test. So the test is starting. I'll re-upright my phone here. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me some information. So on the right of the screen, you see a little envelope, like an email envelope. And then it says there's an I there with information of five. I'm going to click on that envelope with the arrow. And so now it's saying, waiting up to 300 seconds for the temperature to stabilize. So we have to wait for this to get up to 37 degrees Celsius. Then it's going to check that flow cell, make sure it's a good flow cell and it's got enough pores. Uh, this one has 126 pores in it. And uh, Oxford Nanopore guarantees that on arrival, if stored properly, uh, there should be 60 uh, pores that are still active and ready to sequence. So a lot of those degrade in shipment uh, because even though they're shipped in a cooler, uh, the flow cells there uh, just degrade in transit sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this now and come back when this uh, 
uh, is done checking the flow cell.